Modern Warfare 3's new Season 4 update is finally live. With new Week 7 challenges, a Vortex event, and a new bundle, let's get right into the video. That's right guys, with new weekly challenges, we are getting one step closer to that green hex camo, and let's just say I cannot wait. However, we are only on week 7 of 8, so let's go right into those weekly challenges. Here are your week 7 battle royale challenges. If you guys want to go ahead and get an early start on these, you can, of course. This will be unlocking an aftermarket part for the ballistic. This aftermarket part is called the Jack Gunslinger, and basically it seems to higher the fire rate, but it does lower the damage a bit. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. The one on the left is without the aftermarket part, and the one on the right from Bob Network is with the aftermarket part. Not a huge change, but a change nonetheless, which makes it interesting and definitely worth a try. If you have not used the ballistic yet, this will be a great reason to go and try it out once you unlock this aftermarket part. So yeah, guys, we did get a Modern Warfare 2 pistol aftermarket part. Let me know down below if this was exciting or if you're even going to use this gun because it is a Modern Warfare 2 weapon, not even up to current date with Modern Warfare 3 stats. I personally will try it out just to try it. I don't know that I'm going to use it much, but you Warzone guys, let me know down below if it actually will help you out or hurt. The next thing we're going to talk about, we're going to be talking about our new event that is coming to Modern Warfare 3. This Vortex Death Layer event is not an XP event, however, it does have a lot of challenges and rewards. This event goes hand-to-hand -hand theme with the Horseman Death Ultra Skin Tracer Pack. If you guys don't know what that Tracer Pack is, we do have it on our channel if you go to our short section. As we get into more of the rewards for the event itself, we come with one emblem, one sticker, one large decal, two double XP tokens, and a blueprint called Press F, which is going to be for your SVA 545. So no event camo, but a lot of cool rewards that I highly recommend you grind out. Because similar to other events that we've had in the past, this has a limited time frame. And once this time frame expires, you will no longer be able to get these rewards. So I recommend you go in, you grind them quick and get it over with so you don't have to search for these challenges later on or be in a time crunch when you decide you really want these. Now to a new bundle that we're getting called the new Cyber Masaki Bundle. This bundle comes with a couple items, one being an operator skin for Doc called Cyber Bloom. This bundle also comes with with two weapon blueprints one for the tack evolved called the lace dogma and one for the striker 9 called spider's kiss both of these blueprints do come with cyber tread tracers the cyber bundle also includes one large decal one sticker and one loading screen for 1800 cod points the bundle looks pretty well worth it you get an operator skin and two blueprints with tracers but guys let me know down below if you end up copping or dropping this bundle we'll also be doing a skin preview when it actually comes out into the store on our shorts so make sure you subscribe to never miss those other than that on the more technical side of modern warfare 3 we have a game pass yes so apparently modern warfare 3 will be the first call of duty move to xbox game pass so say you're on Xbox right now and you have Game Pass, but you already have Call of Duty, you're looking to switch over to PC gaming, now you can get Game Pass, get on your Xbox app on your PC, and it should allow you to download Modern Warfare 3 for free. As long as, of course, you have an active subscription to Xbox Game Pass. MW3 and MW2 are the first of many COD titles that are going to be coming to Xbox Game Pass. Along with the future release of Black Ops 6 already confirmed to be on Game Pass, it is leaked that we might be even seeing older Call of Duties come to Game Pass. Older such as Cold War or Black Ops 2 or even Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. So guys, if you do have Xbox Game Pass, let me know how excited you are. And if you don't have Xbox Game Pass, do you think this might change your mind to getting it? Alrighty guys, well that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Remember to smash the like button, subscribe. Thank you so much for all the support. Leave any constructive criticism down below. Share the video to your friends and family to help them learn more about Call of Duty. And of course, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.